Sometimes you find a penny under the bed or a cookie lying around, and the feeling is something out of this world. But once in a while, a truly spectacular discovery shows up that changes the way we think forever. Finding a penny under the bed is great, it really is, but this video is dedicated to the weirdest and equally most amazing things humans have ever discovered. And so, without further ado, here are 10 crazy finds that changed the world. Number 10. Pompeii Mount Vesuvius is notoriously known as one of the most active volcanoes in the world. The landmark volcano near the Bay of Naples in Italy has erupted more than 50 times with floods of fire and ash towering down the huge mountain. It's a scary volcano all right, but its most famous eruption was something far worse. It happened in 79 AD when the volcano buried the ancient Roman city of Pompeii under a thick carpet of volcanic ash. 2,000 people died. The city abandoned for almost as many years in what is now known as one of the most tragic events in history. But until recently, not much was known about the city and the people that suffered this terrible fate. So it was shocking when a group of explorers rediscovered the site in 1748. What's more shocking? Underneath all that thick layer of dust and debris, Pompeii was mostly intact. The buildings, artifacts, and skeletons left behind in the buried city all share stories about these people's everyday lives and insight into the history, lifestyle, and culture of the ancient Roman city. Number 9. Terracotta Army In 1974, peasants digging a well in Drat Part Shanxi province in northwest China discovered fragments of a clay figure the first evidence of what would turn out to be one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of modern times. Near the unexcavated tomb of Qin Shi Huangdi, who had proclaimed himself the first emperor of China in 221 BC, laid an extraordinary underground treasure, an entire army of life-size terracotta soldiers and horses. The terracotta army, a 2,000-year-old mesmerizing collection of terracotta sculptures showcasing China's first emperor, Qin Shi Hang's armies. Emperor Qin Shi Hang, the founder of China's first Qin dynasty, built himself a massive tomb with terracotta clay soldiers, horses, and chariots guarding his resting place. The army dates back to the 3rd century BC and numbers approximately 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, and 520 horses. The scale of the production of the terracotta soldiers still baffles archaeologists to this day. But it does tell a lot about how these Chinese soldiers were equipped at the time, the weapons they used, and the clothes they wore. The soldiers were adroitly carved with impeccable detailing, each with unique facial characteristics and expressions. Today, the army's grandeur sheds light on the glorious, short-lived Qin Dynasty, the first to unite China. Number 8. Machu Picchu A temple, a city, a spiritual palace, this monumental Inca citadel could fit into any description. Its stunning natural surroundings and jaw-dropping remains make this a truly remarkable sight, a reminder of the Inca Empire's technological capabilities and power at its peak. Still, for what looked like an eternity, it laid undiscovered. Hidden deep in the rocky countryside northwest of Cusco, Peru, Machu Picchu must have been a royal estate or religious site for Inca leaders whose civilization was wiped out in the 16th century by Spanish invaders. For decades, until the American archaeologist Hiram Bingham stumbled on it in 1911, the abandoned citadel's existence was a secret known only to locals. The site stretches over a five-mile distance, featuring more than 3,000 stone steps that link its many levels. Today, thousands of people troop through Machu Picchu every year to see the sunset over the towering stone monuments and marvel at the mysterious splendor of one of the world's most famous man-made wonders. Before we move on, leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be the first watching new episodes. Number 7. Nazca Line Take a hike on the Nazca Line of Peru, and you may wonder what the fuss about the famous Nazca Lines of Peru is all about. Get a lift on a commercial aircraft and tour, which by the way is what most people do here, and you'll be singing a different tune. In fact, the lines were first spotted by commercial aircraft in the 1920s and 30s. There have been many arguments about the origin of these lines, but if there's one thing archaeologists agree on, it's that there are hundreds of these enormous shapes, ranging from geometric lines to detailed depictions of animals, plants, and imaginary figures. 
Scientists believe the lines were made over 2,000 years ago by people of the pre-Inca Nazca culture. We simply removed the red surface pebbles to reveal the lighter Earth below. Still, the lines remain enigmatic, so much so that conspiracy theorists float around ideas about alien landings and ancient astrology. Number 6. Cave of Altamira This cave, discovered by a hunter in 1868, was first visited in 1876 by Marcelino Sanz de Satulo, a local nobleman. He returned in 1879 to excavate the floor of the cave's entrance chamber, and what greeted him were animal bones and stone tools. On another visit in the late summer, he was accompanied by his eight-year-old daughter, Maria, who first noticed bison paintings on the ceiling of a side chamber. Convinced the paintings and the objects were left behind by the ancient humans who detailed their lifestyle, Sans de Satula recorded his findings in 1880. It didn't go well with the authorities at first. Since the prehistoric paintings were the first of their kind to be discovered, it was not until the end of the 19th century that they were accepted as genuine. The discovery changed our understanding of prehistoric humans. The artifacts that date back to between 14,000 and 20,000 years ago show a glimpse into the lives of our very distant ancestors and their intellectual and artistic prowess. Number 5. Otzi In 1991, hikers in the Italian Alps discovered the mummified, 5,300-year-old body of a man who had died in the Otzpal Alps between Austria and Italy. Nicknamed Otzi the Iceman, the frozen corpse was so well-preserved that its injuries and stomach contents have helped researchers reconstruct the story of his last days in the mountains. According to studies, Otzi was a shepherd, herding sheep, cows, and goats near the Italian-Austrian border. Scientists concluded that Otzi likely didn't live in the Alps, but rather spent most of his time in Isaac Valley or the Lower Puster Valley, in an area that is now part of northern Italy. But his life wasn't all there is to know about the Iceman. Studies also found that Otzi bled to death after an arrow struck an artery in his shoulder. He had also suffered a brain injury, according to experts. Whether he fell and hit his head after the arrow hit him, or was beaten to death by attackers, remains a mystery. What we do know is that this Otzi lived closer to us than this next discovery. Number 4. Lucy Back in 1974, paleoanthropologists working in the Afar Triangle of Ethiopia discovered hundreds of bone fossils. What they didn't know at the time was that they had just run into what would be the first fossil belonging to the hominin species Australopithecus afarensis. For decades, the bones of the species nicknamed Lucy, which lived over 3.2 million years ago, lay mostly untouched. At the time, the discovery was unprecedented. For a while, it represented the only known skeleton of A. afarensis, and although more complete specimens were later found in the 1990s, it shaped most of what we now know about our ancestors. Number 3. King Tut's Tomb King Tutankhamun was an Egyptian pharaoh for 10 years until his death around 1324 BC, the age of 19. Today he's the most popular Egyptian king from pre-modern times, but just a few decades ago, almost nothing was known about the young king. No one even knew he existed. Thanks to archaeologists Howard Carter and George Herbert's discovery of the tomb in 1922, the great Tutankhamun rose to his posthumous fame. His designated tomb, KV-62, was uncovered fairly intact in the Valley of the Kings. Although it wasn't as big as other tombs around, and looked more like a private individual's tomb, the tomb contained over 2,000 pieces of valuable antiques. Since then, there have been several theories on what killed the pharaoh so early. Studies of the mummy showed that the king was plagued with constant sickness, coupled with a history of inbreeding within the royal court. It's hard to pinpoint what may have contributed to the king's poor health and early death. Regardless, today his tomb remains as one of the most interesting finds ever. Number 2. Stonehenge No place has generated as much buzz as the standing stones of Stonehenge. Take a drive through the rolling hills and plains of the English countryside, and the sight of this unusual structure will leave you breathless. A walk around it even provokes more strange feelings. For over 5,000 years, it has remained a source of mystery. It's been excavated, x-rayed, measured, and surveyed. Still, its purpose remains one of the great mysteries of the world. The megalithic monument on the Salisbury Plain in southern England, composed mainly of 30 upright stones arranged in a circle, with 30 six-ton lintels perched horizontally. It also has an inner circle, composed of similar stones arranged the same way. The most amazing thing about Stonehenge is that it's angled in such a way 
that the sun rising over the horizon appears to be perfectly placed between the gaps and the megaliths. But what was the purpose of the ancient icon? A burial ground? A winter solstice monument? A UFO landing site? Okay, it's probably not that last one. But Stonehenge's purpose does remain a mystery. One thing is for sure though, whoever built this structure over 5,000 years ago didn't want us to find out how they did it. Number 1. Voynich Manuscript We've walked on the moon, come up with a theory of general relativity, split the atom. The list of human breakthroughs goes on and on. Humanity can pretty much do anything it puts its mind to, right? Well, except read a book. One of the most famous books on Earth is an ancient text that no one can read. Found by an antique bookseller in 1912, the Voynich Manuscript is a 250-page book written in a strange alphabet that has never been seen anywhere else. It contains a range of images, medicinal herbs, zodiac signs, floating castles, disembodied heads, flowers that have never been found on Earth, strange creatures that resemble jellyfish, and lots of naked women bathing in water. Genius wartime cryptologists, FBI operatives, medievalists, scientific scholars, and linguists have tried to read it. They've been left even more confused by the Voynich manuscript. The talented William Friedman, chief crypto analyst in the U.S. Army's Signal Intelligence Service, spent 30 years trying to read this manuscript without success. While some scholars think the book is a Renaissance-era hoax full of meaningless words, some people claim it is the illustrated journal of a teenage space alien who left it behind on Earth. Others claim the book contains some kind of code that has yet to be cracked. With the text continuing to remain a puzzle to academics and researchers arriving at dead ends at every turn, it's hard to accept that we may never learn the secrets of the Voynich Manuscript. The manuscript is available at Yale's University Beinecke Rare Book and Manuscript Library if you ever feel inspired enough to give it a try. Who knows? You could be the first person to crack the Voynich Manuscript. Thanks for watching. Leave the comment down below and let us know what's the craziest thing you've ever found. Don't forget to subscribe for new and upcoming episodes.